This is a homework problem simplifying rational expressions from the Algebra 2 curriculum. So this is the problem x squared plus 4x plus 21 over negative 2x squared plus 5x plus 3. And the goal is to simplify and then identify if there are any values that uh, cannot be used or excluded from the equation. So the first step is that we're going to factor the top and then we're going to factor the bottom. So x squared plus 4x minus 21 is the numerator for the homework problem. And what you're trying to do is you are trying to factor this and then see if we can cancel something out. So since you have an x squared, you're going to put an x as the first term. Then the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to look at that negative 21 and you're going to try and figure out what terms can you multiply together to get negative 21. Or a better way to put it is what two integers can you multiply together to get negative 21. And so I'm going to hop down here a little bit and I'm going to say that you can do negative 3 and positive 7, or you can do positive 3 and negative 7, or you can do negative 1 times 21, or positive 1 times negative 1. So to make life simple, I'm going to tell you that it is this one. So basically what to try and use is trial and error, but we don't want to do that. So negative 3 and positive 7. So our numerator is going to be x minus 3 times x plus 7. Okay, so here we go with the denominator, negative 2x squared plus 5x plus 3. And so this one's going to be a little bit trickier because it's got this negative 2 in the front. So what I'm going to suggest to you is that you do something that's sneaky. And the first thing that isn't sneaky is that you're going to have a negative 2 on one side, a negative 2x, and then an x on the other side because we know that when you take x, times 2x, negative 2x is going to give you negative 2x squared. Now, the sneaky part is that typically when you get a problem like this, they're going to cancel out. So um, if you look at positive 3, you can either get 3 times 1 or negative 3 times negative 1. So the tricky part is that you've got this 2, and so you're not quite sure what to do with it. However, I'm going to tell you that based on what I've seen, pretty much they want to cancel. So the last one you knew was x minus 3. So this one's going to be x minus 3. So if this one's going to be x minus 3, then you know that it is this one. So that is the math teacher trick that based on my many years doing math, I will tell you that these problems always end up having a cancellation in numerator and denominator. So it makes your life easy. If X minus three is over there, you know that it has to be this pit. So here we go. We've got the numerator and denominator back together. The numerator on top is x minus 3 times x plus 7. 
and the denominator is x minus 3 times negative 2x minus 1. So if you look at this, then you get to see what I was talking about because the x minus 3 in the numerator and the x minus 3 in the denominator cancel each other out. And so you're left with x plus 7 over negative 2x minus 1. Okay, so moving over from our previous page, this is our rational expression, x plus 7 over negative 2x minus 1. And that is simplified, but if you remember, the denominator, the bottom part, cannot equal 0. So we're going to do a two-step equation. To be able to figure out what's going on here. So I'm going to add one to this side and add one to the right side. Cancel out the ones. Negative 2x equals 1. And now here's the big part. What are we going to divide both sides by? Don't forget the negative sign. Okay, so one more step left to go, and that is to cancel out the 2s, which leaves you with x equals negative 1 half. So that means that this expression is simplified, but you know that there is one number that it cannot be, and that is the exception. All right, so that's it. That's your homework problem you asked me for. Please go ahead and review this video and see if you can do another one. If you don't get it, I'll see you on Google Hangouts.